So we're given the equation for the terminal side of theta. It's 2x plus y equals 0. And here x is greater than or equal to 0. And we're being asked to find the trig function values of theta. So let's work through this carefully. Solution. So basically we can pick any point we want on our line. Notice it says x greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to just try to be simple here and make x equal to 1. Again, you can use any positive number um, you like. Uh, don't use 0, <laughs> uh, which is not positive, so that won't work. So take x equals 1, and if you plug that in, you get 2 times 1 plus y equals uh, 0. And then so y is equal to negative 2. So our ordered pair would be 1 comma uh, negative 2. Let's go ahead and plot that and uh, just um, draw a little picture and then we'll get the answer. So 1 negative 2 would, might be somewhere over here. Maybe this is 1 negative 2. Right? You go right 1 and down 2. And this maybe is the equation of our line. I'm just going to draw it as a segment. I mean, you can keep going. right? It does keep going. It is a line. Uh, and it goes the other way too, right? It goes up this way as well. Although x is greater than or equal to 0, so in this case it actually uh, will not. In any case, our angle theta is right here. There's our theta. Okay, now that we have x and y, um, we can use a formula to come up with the answer. So recall that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So r is equal to the square root of, well, if x is 1, we would get 1 squared plus, and then y is negative 2, so this is negative 2 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4. So r is equal to the square root of 5. So now that we have r, we can uh, find our answers. So the sine of theta is given by the formula y over r. So y over r. So remember, y is negative 2. So it would be uh, negative 2 over the square root of 5. And that's an OK answer. If you wanted to rationalize, you could. You would multiply by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. Because you're basically multiplying by 1. So then this is equal to negative 2 square root of 5 over 5. So that would be one answer. Uh, another answer would be the cosine of theta. That's equal to x over r. And so x here is 1, so this would be 1 over r, which is the square root of 5. And again, if you wanted to rationalize, you would multiply by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. And so that's equal to the square root of 5 over 5. And then the tangent of theta is a little bit easier. In this case, it's just y over x. So um, it would just be negative 2 over 1. So just negative 2. Pretty easy there. Now, uh, for the next one, cosecant of theta, we just have to find the reciprocal. Now, if you flip this, you're going to get a, um, a square root on the bottom, and then we'll have to rationalize again. So recall that it's really this. So if we flip this one, it'll just be negative square root of 5 over 2. A little bit easier than having to, you know, flip this one and then rationalize again. Like, no, it's more work. Uh, and then the secant of theta, again, we need to flip this one, but that one has uh, a square root up top. So let's, let's go ahead and flip this one. So you just get the square root of 5 over 1, which is the square root of 5. That gives us uh, that. And then the last one is the cotangent of theta. So you just flip the negative 2. It's really negative 2 over 1. So when you flip it, you just get negative 1 over 2. Right? These are the reciprocal functions. So all you do is flip the previous answers. So once you get these answers, you just flip them to, to get these. I hope this video has been helpful.